All my life, First Congo has been a warm and welcoming home, and I'm so grateful for that. You've walked with me through so much, entering the ordination process, coming out as queer, coming out as trans, and finally, when I wondered if it was a bridge too far when I entered the conversion process to Judaism. There have been so many times when other churches and other pastors would have turned their backs on me. And although I never expected First Congo to be one of them, that fear was still there. I mean it when I say First Congo is an exceptional community, but there are far too few religious communities like First Congo. And we live in a time when trans people in particular are still very misunderstood and too often painted as a dangerous group to fear and hate. So I was thrilled to hear about your inclusion team and the courageous conversations you're having. And I really do believe it's courageous going through this process as a congregation. It can be very difficult to understand what it means to be trans if you yourself haven't experienced the feeling that your body fundamentally does not reflect who you are. And not understanding things is scary, hence the fear that all too easily turns to hate. But I think that's where faith comes in. We can never fully understand God, but we can love and honor God anyway. And we're all made in the image of God. And that image is far greater and far more complex than any of us can even begin to comprehend. I like to think trans people are a part of that complexity, a facet of the divine revealing itself as more and more trans people around the world are able to be their authentic selves. And you only have to meet one trans person who's finally free to be their full self to know God calls this good. Watching a child who is anxious and reserved blossom into a kid whose laughter fills the whole house. Seeing the tension roll off a trans adult's shoulders because they finally had the gender confirming surgery they need for their body to feel like home. You don't always have to understand something to see that it's good. Without a doubt, it's good. Transitioning for a trans person is the difference between surviving and thriving. And sometimes it can be the difference between surviving and not. I know my dad has struggled with me being trans and I don't know if he'll ever fully get it, but he calls me his son. He uses my pronouns. And although it's very belated, he teaches me the things he would have taught me if I had always been raised as his son. The first Thanksgiving after I came out to my parents, he called me into his office and showed me how to tie a tie. And at the time, both he and my mom were still messing up with my pronouns and my name multiple times a day. But that one thing showed me how hard he was trying. Even if he couldn't wrap his head around the idea of gender identity, he showed me he was on board. His actions led the way for him. And I think he'd say a good amount of understanding has followed, enough at least to know that this is who I need to be to thrive. And the same thing happened when I converted. My dad's never really been religious and he doesn't really get being religious. And yet he came with me on the day of my official conversion. And after my baked in and the immersion in the mikvah, we celebrated together. His actions prove he is always on my side. And honestly, I think that matters more than him perfectly understanding the fullness of my trans Jewish experience. And so I love that First Congo is in this process. No matter where you personally fall on the journey to understanding, you are firmly on that journey. And that's a profound act of faith. It tells the LGBTQ members of your church and their loved ones and everyone in your wider community who's looking for an open and affirming home that you are in their corner, or at least you're trying to be. And deciding to make that effort is such an important first step. So from someone who's always thought of First Congo as home, thank you and good luck on the journey.